What if a quiet Friday night turned into something you never expected? One stepmom. One friend. And one moment that changed everything. You won't believe where this night leads. It was a Friday evening in Chicago, and the city was buzzing with its usual weekend energy. I had just gotten home from a long week at work, ready to unwind. My name is Lucas, I'm 36 years old, and after days like this, I usually appreciate some peace and quiet. All I wanted was a cold beer and some mindless TV. But that night, I had no idea my world was about to take a dramatic turn. My stepmom, Laura, had invited her old friend Kate over for dinner. Laura is 53, but you wouldn't know it by looking at her, she's always graceful and put together, with an air of confidence that makes people take notice. Kate, her college friend, is 55, and despite the years, she's just as lively as Laura. They hadn't seen each other in a while and were excited to catch up over dinner and a bottle of wine. I figured I'd let them have their evening, keeping my distance. But when they arrived, I noticed something was different about Kate. She had always been fun and energetic, but tonight, she had a spark, a playful energy that made me take a second look. I greeted them politely and, like usual, planned to slip away into the background. Dinner was set, and Laura looked stunning in a sleek black dress that showed off her figure, while Kate wore a red blouse that highlighted her bold personality. I was ready to fade into the background, but instead, I found myself more drawn into their conversation. They were laughing about old college stories, and for some reason, tonight, their energy felt different, lighter, more charged. Maybe it was the wine, or maybe it was something else, but I noticed Kate glancing at me with a smile that lingered a bit too long. As dinner progressed, I couldn't help but feel a shift in the air. The laughter between Laura and Kate was easy, but there was an undercurrent that hadn't been there before. It was subtle at first, but then, after a few glasses of wine, it became more noticeable. I found myself becoming more engaged in their conversation, even enjoying it more than I expected. Maybe it was the wine loosening me up, or maybe it was the way Kate's eyes kept finding mine, her smile playful and inviting. Around 9 p.m., we all moved to the living room. Laura and Kate sat close together on the couch, still reminiscing about the good old days. I went to the kitchen to grab another round of drinks, and as I walked back into the room, I overheard something that made me pause. You know, Laura, Kate said with a laugh, Lucas has really grown into quite the man. Handsome, too. Laura chuckled, but there was something in her tone, something knowing. Oh, come on, Kate. He's my stepson. Her words were playful, but there was a weight behind them that I couldn't ignore. I tried to shrug it off as I walked back into the room, but Kate's eyes met mine, and this time, her smile was different, teasing, almost challenging. Why don't you join us, Lucas? Kate said, patting the empty space on the couch between them. Her voice was light, but there was a hint of something more beneath it. My heart started beating a little faster, but I tried to stay cool. I sat down between them, and the tension was undeniable. The conversation continued, but there was a new flirtatious edge. Kate's hand brushed against my knee, her fingers lingering a little too long. My pulse quickened. Laura noticed, but instead of pulling away, she smiled at me, a smile that was more than just friendly. The room felt charged now, and I couldn't ignore the shift in the energy between the three of us. I tried to stay relaxed, but then Kate leaned in closer, her lips brushing my ear as she whispered, You know, Lucas, there's something about you tonight. Something, different. I swallowed hard, unsure how to respond. Before I could even process what was happening, Laura joined in, her hand resting on my other knee, her touch warm and deliberate. I glanced at her, half expecting her to say something to break the tension, but instead, she leaned in too, her lips grazing my cheek in a way that sent a shockwave through me. The atmosphere was heavy with anticipation, and yet I found myself unable to pull away. Kate was watching me closely, her fingers inching up my leg with a playful smile. We used to have a lot of fun back in the day, didn't we, Laura, she said with a wink, 
her voice low and teasing. Isn't that right? Laura chuckled softly, her eyes never leaving mine. Oh yes, we did, she replied, her voice dripping with nostalgia and something more. We had some wild times. The flirtation between them was obvious now, and I was caught in the middle of it. Laura's hand moved slightly, her fingers brushing my thigh in a way that made me tense with anticipation. Kate, ever the instigator, leaned in, her lips barely an inch from mine. Come on, Lucas. Join us. I couldn't resist any longer. Kate's lips found mine in a soft, testing kiss, and when I responded, she deepened it, her hand sliding further up my leg. The kiss was unexpected, but the heat of it pulled me in. As our kiss deepened, I could feel the energy shift even more. Laura, sitting beside us, was watching with a knowing smile. Just when I thought the moment couldn't get any more intense, I felt Laura's hand join in, resting gently on my neck. Her touch sent shivers down my spine, and before I knew it, her lips were on mine too, stealing a kiss before Kate could react. Laura's kiss was softer, slower, but there was a deliberate hunger behind it. My heart raced as I found myself caught between them, Kate's hand still exploring, while Laura took her time, savoring every moment. The two of them seemed to be working together in perfect sync, sharing an unspoken connection that I was now part of. Their hands moved over me in unison, Kate's touch more teasing and insistent, while Laura's was careful and deliberate, making me ache for more. The intensity of their combined attention was electric. Every touch sent a wave of heat through me, and I could feel my pulse quickening. Kate leaned in close, her lips brushing my ear again. You're enjoying this, aren't you, Lucas? She whispered, her voice laced with seduction. Why don't we take this somewhere more comfortable? My breath caught in my throat, and before I could respond, Laura stood up, giving me a playful smile. Come on, she said softly, her eyes gleaming. Without another word, the two of them led me toward the bedroom, the tension building with every step. Inside the room, the soft glow of the city lights filtered through the window, casting a warm, amber glow over everything. Kate pushed me gently onto the bed, her hands quickly working to unbutton my shirt. Laura followed close behind, her fingers tracing patterns over my chest, sending shivers through me. Kate climbed on top of me, her eyes filled with a mischievous glint as she leaned down for another kiss, this one harder, more demanding. I could feel the weight of her body pressing against mine, while Laura watched from the side, her hand still exploring my skin. The intensity between the three of us was overwhelming. I hadn't expected this. The way they moved together, teasing and toying with me, felt like a carefully orchestrated dance that left me breathless. As Kate kissed me harder, her hands roamed lower, teasing the waistband of my pants, just enough to make my breath hitch. Laura wasn't far behind, her fingers tracing my chest and shoulders with a slow, deliberate pace, her eyes never leaving mine. The contrast between Kate's aggressive, playful nature and Laura's slower, more sensual approach was driving me wild. Kate pulled away for a moment, a wicked grin on her face. Looks like you're enjoying this more than you expected, Lucas, she teased. Why don't we make it even better? I barely had time to process her words before Laura leaned in, kissing my neck, her lips soft and warm. The sensation of their combined attention was overwhelming. They were working together so seamlessly, it felt like they had done this before. I was caught in the middle, unsure whether to keep my cool or just give in to the moment. Kate glanced at Laura with a sly smile, and without a word, they both began to undress me. My pulse quickened as their hands moved with practiced ease, leaving me completely vulnerable under their touch. There was something surreal about it all, the way they seemed to read each other, playing off one another to drive me closer and closer to the edge. Suddenly, an unexpected sound interrupted the moment. The front door creaked open, and a familiar voice called out, Hey, Laura. I forgot my jacket. My heart skipped a beat. It was Laura's husband, John, returning unexpectedly. Panic flashed in Laura's eyes, and Kate froze, her hands still on me. For a brief, 
tense second, none of us moved. Laura jumped up quickly, straightening her dress. John, I'm upstairs. I'll grab it for you, she called out, her voice strained but trying to stay calm. Kate and I exchanged a glance, both of us caught in the sudden shock of the situation. Laura hurried out of the room, leaving Kate and me frozen in place, hearts pounding. As Laura disappeared down the hall, Kate quickly jumped off the bed, her face flushed with both excitement and panic. We could hear John moving around downstairs, unaware of the situation that had nearly unfolded. My heart raced as Kate and I sat there, trying to figure out what to do next. That was close, Kate whispered, her voice low and filled with a mix of amusement and nervousness. She straightened her blouse and glanced toward the door. We've got to be careful now. I nodded, still feeling the adrenaline from the close call. The air in the room was thick with tension, but now it had shifted to something else, an undeniable thrill that came with almost getting caught. Laura returned a few moments later, her face calm but her eyes revealing the same adrenaline-fueled energy. He's gone, she said softly, closing the door behind her. For a second, none of us spoke, the weight of what had almost happened settling over the room. Kate broke the silence with a soft laugh. Well, that was definitely unexpected. Laura smiled, her confidence quickly returning. It's not over yet, she said, her voice low and filled with a renewed intensity. But we'll have to be a little more careful this time. There was a charged pause, and then Laura walked over to me, her hand sliding over my shoulder as she leaned down, her lips grazing my ear. Where were we, Lucas? she whispered, her voice sending a shiver through me. Kate, not wanting to be left out, moved back onto the bed, her playful grin returning as she leaned in for another kiss. The energy between us reignited, but now there was an extra layer of excitement. The close call had only heightened the tension, making every touch feel even more electric. Laura's hand moved lower, teasing me with deliberate slowness, while Kate's lips found mine again, more insistent this time. The combination of their touches was driving me wild, the thrill of almost being caught lingering in the back of my mind. The energy between the three of us was different now, heightened by the thrill of almost being caught. Every touch, every glance felt charged with a sense of urgency. Kate's hands roamed over me with more confidence, while Laura seemed even more deliberate, savoring the moment as if she knew how close we had come to losing it all. Kate kissed me deeply, her hands tugging at my waistband as Laura leaned in, her breath hot against my neck. We need to be quick, she whispered, her voice filled with a mix of excitement and urgency. I was completely caught up in the moment, unable to think about anything else but the intensity of their combined attention. Kate's lips moved to my neck, trailing kisses down as her hands worked to undress me further. Laura's touch was slower, more sensual, but no less deliberate. I could feel the heat between us rising again, the sense of danger only fueling the fire. Just when I thought the moment couldn't get more intense, Laura leaned in and whispered, you need to stay quiet this time, Lucas. That warning, the need for silence, added another layer of excitement to everything. It made every movement, every touch feel more secretive and forbidden. The adrenaline was rushing through me, and I knew there was no turning back now. Kate smiled, clearly enjoying the tension in the air. I love a good secret, she whispered, her lips curving into a mischievous grin. The three of us were tangled together again, but this time the stakes felt higher. The room was filled with heat, anticipation, and a shared sense of risk that made every moment feel more intense than the last. Laura's hands moved down my chest, while Kate's lips explored my skin, their movements synchronized in a way that left me breathless. As the intensity between us grew, the tension became almost unbearable. Every touch from Kate and Laura felt deliberate, filled with the urgency of the moment. Kate's hands moved lower, teasingly brushing against my skin, while Laura's fingers trailed over my chest, sending shivers down my spine. There was something exhilarating about having to keep quiet, the thrill of knowing we couldn't make a sound with John only moments away earlier. It made everything feel more dangerous, more forbidden, 
and I could sense that both Kate and Laura were thriving on that excitement. Laura's lips found mine again, soft yet demanding, while Kate's hands worked their magic, pushing me further into the moment. The room was hot, the air thick with the tension between us, and I could feel the pressure building inside me, every nerve on edge. Kate paused for a moment, glancing over at Laura with a sly smile. Do you think we should try something a little different? she asked, her voice playful yet filled with suggestion. Laura raised an eyebrow, a teasing smile on her lips. What do you have in mind? Kate's grin widened, and without missing a beat, she shifted her position, leaning in closer to whisper something in Laura's ear. Whatever she said, it made Laura laugh, a soft, knowing laugh that only added to the growing anticipation in the room. Without saying a word, Kate leaned down again, her lips brushing against my ear. I think it's time for you to let go, Lucas, she whispered, her voice dripping with seduction. Just relax. We've got you. I couldn't help but feel completely caught up in the moment, their combined attention overwhelming me. Laura's hands moved lower, exploring my skin with deliberate slowness, while Kate's touch became more insistent, driving me closer and closer to the edge. The intensity between the three of us was reaching its peak. Every nerve in my body was on fire, responding to their touch. Laura's lips traced a path down my neck while Kate's fingers teased, her movements deliberate and calculated. The room felt impossibly warm, the air thick with tension that seemed ready to explode. Kate's whisper echoed in my mind, just relax. We've got you. And I found myself giving in completely, surrendering to the moment. Laura's touch was softer but no less insistent, her hands exploring my body with slow, deliberate strokes that left me trembling. Just when I thought I couldn't take any more, Kate leaned in closer, her breath hot against my ear. Do you know why I've always liked you, Lucas, she whispered, her voice low and teasing. It's because you always seem so in control, but now, you're completely ours. Her words sent a shiver down my spine. The power dynamic had shifted completely, and I realized I was no longer in control, Kate and Laura were. They moved together in perfect harmony, their hands and lips working in tandem, pushing me further than I'd ever been before. It was an intoxicating combination, Laura's slow, sensual approach and Kate's teasing, playful nature. Laura's lips brushed against mine again, her kiss filled with a deliberate hunger. Meanwhile, Kate's hands roamed over my body, her touch sending jolts of pleasure through me with every movement. The two of them were relentless, and I found myself on the edge, teetering between anticipation and the inevitable. The room was alive with energy, charged, electric, and I could feel the tension building to an almost unbearable level. Every touch, every kiss was designed to push me closer to the breaking point, and I was barely holding on. The pressure inside me built to the point where it was almost impossible to contain. Laura's touch was slow, deliberate, and confident, while Kate's teasing was relentless, each of them pushing me closer and closer to the edge. The contrast between their styles, one soft and sensual, the other playful and intense, created a whirlwind of sensations that I could barely keep up with. Suddenly, Kate leaned in and whispered, You're close, aren't you, Lucas? Her voice was low, filled with a mix of amusement and seduction. I could only nod, my breath coming in short, ragged bursts. Laura smiled softly, her lips hovering just above mine. It's okay, she whispered, her voice soothing but full of command. Just let go. At that moment, everything seemed to spiral out of control. Kate's hands moved lower, her touch more insistent, while Laura's kiss deepened, her fingers tracing slow, tantalizing patterns across my skin. The room felt impossibly hot, the tension between the three of us building to a fever pitch. And then it happened. A tidal wave of sensation hit me all at once, overwhelming, all-consuming. I could feel myself unraveling, every nerve in my body alive with pleasure. My mind went blank, lost in the intensity of the moment as I gave in completely. The release was powerful, like nothing I had ever experienced before. Laura's hand stayed firmly on my chest, grounding me, 
while Kate watched with a satisfied grin, her fingers still teasing, drawing out every last drop of sensation. My breath came in short gasps as the waves of pleasure subsided, leaving me dizzy and breathless. For a few moments, none of us moved. The air in the room felt lighter, the tension that had been building for so long finally released. Kate leaned back, her face flushed with satisfaction, while Laura's fingers traced lazy circles on my chest, a contented smile on her lips. As the tension in the room dissipated, a quiet calm settled over us. Laura lay beside me, her hand still gently tracing patterns on my skin, while Kate leaned back, a satisfied grin playing on her lips. The heat of the moment had faded, leaving behind a sense of peace and contentment. For a few minutes, the room was silent, save for the sound of our breathing slowly returning to normal. I could feel my heart still racing, the aftershocks of what had just happened reverberating through me. It was surreal, everything that had happened felt almost like a dream. Kate was the first to break the silence, her voice soft but playful. Well, that was something, wasn't it, she said, glancing between me and Laura with a mischievous smile. Laura chuckled, her eyes still filled with warmth. It definitely was, she replied, her voice calm and steady. But now, we need to talk about what comes next. The reality of the situation hit me all at once. What had started as an unexpected, intense experience was now something that would have to be addressed. We couldn't just leave it as it was. I knew that. Laura knew it. And Kate, with her knowing smile, seemed to sense it too. Laura propped herself up on her elbow, looking at me with a serious expression. Lucas, I don't want this to ruin anything between us. Tonight, it was special. But we have to be honest about what this means. I swallowed hard, nodding. Yeah, I agree. I don't want things to get weird between us. Kate sat up, her playful demeanor softening a bit. It doesn't have to be weird, she said. What happened tonight was incredible, but we need to be on the same page. The conversation that followed was honest and surprisingly easy. We talked openly about the experience, about our boundaries and what we expected going forward. None of us wanted to rush into anything or let tonight define our relationships. We agreed that it was a special moment, something to be cherished, but also something that didn't have to repeat itself unless we were all comfortable with it. By the time the conversation wound down, the tension from earlier had completely evaporated. In its place was a feeling of mutual understanding. Laura and Kate were both clear about their boundaries, and I felt reassured that we were all on the same page. As the first light of dawn began to filter through the curtains, I lay there between Laura and Kate, feeling an unexpected sense of peace wash over me. The intensity of the night had passed, but it left behind something deeper, a connection that felt different from anything I had ever experienced. Laura rested her head on my chest, her fingers intertwined with mine, while Kate snuggled closer, her breath steady against my shoulder. The room was quiet, the energy between us calm and relaxed. What had started as a night of unexpected passion had transformed into something more, a moment of trust, communication, and mutual understanding. As I closed my eyes, I realized that tonight had been more than just about desire. It had been about letting go, about exploring something new, and about being honest with each other in ways we hadn't been before. We had crossed a line, yes, but we had done it together, and in the process, we had deepened the bond between us. It wasn't just about the physical, it was about the trust we had built, the openness that had allowed us to explore this side of ourselves without judgment or regret. We had created something special, something that would stay with us long after the night had ended. As I drifted off to sleep, I felt content, knowing that whatever came next, we would face it together with the same honesty and openness that had brought us to this point. The future felt open, full of possibilities, and I knew that, no matter what happened, we had all grown closer in ways we hadn't expected. Laura's fingers gently played with mine as she settled beside me, and Kate sighed softly, her head resting on my shoulder. The three of us lay there in peaceful silence, letting the calm of the morning settle over us. Whatever happened next, 
I knew that tonight was a turning point, something that would change the way we saw each other, but in a good way. As the sun rose, filling the room with warm light, I felt ready to embrace whatever the future held for us.